Anyone can learn how to play the guitar in seven days or less. So the way guitar is usually taught is they give you a really solid foundation that you can build off of to become a great guitar player. But not everyone who wants to play guitar wants to be a great guitarist. Not everyone who learns to bike wants to go to the X Games. Some people just want to bike. So if your goal is just to play guitar for friends or to go with your singing, you don't necessarily need that same really good foundation. Your foundation can be okay. Now to learn guitar, there are two main things that you need. Knowledge, but you also need the muscle memory. The way that muscle memory works is that you develop it in the time that you're not practicing. So you practice and then during the time after you internalize it and then when you come back, you'll be better at it. So with that in mind, you're going to want to practice for 15 minutes two to four times a day, but not more because your, your fingers will hurt. Guitar strings are these thin metal wires that dig into your soft, delicate fingers and it hurts. So you don't want to overdo it. Now in terms of the knowledge, if you've ever watched any other beginner guitar course, they always say you start with open chords and that's great because it gives you a solid foundation that you can build off of, but we're not doing that. We're doing a shaky foundation that's fast and effective. So we're going to simplify four basic basic chords because the thing with guitar you recycle a lot of chords so if you learn these four main chords you're going to be able to play thousands of songs you just got to shift around the order strum a little differently but it's really just these four chords so these chords are G D E minor and C to read the chord diagrams picture a guitar that's on a guitar stand so what all these chords have in common is that on the third fret of the highest two strings they're always pushed down that's with your pinky and your ring finger every time you play your fingers are gonna stay right there now to practice these chords what you're gonna do is just pick two randomly at a time set a timer for a minute and switch between them as fast as you possibly can G C G C you won't be as fast as me but one day maybe, but once you get comfortable enough with it, you can try practicing to a metronome. Also, you're not gonna wanna strum with a pick. Picks are really good for making a bright, clear, loud sound, which is great, um, but it also makes your mistakes really loud and clear, which is not great. So what you're gonna do is you're either gonna strum with the soft part of your thumb, or you can use the nails on your other four fingers and just kinda, or you can do a combination of both. Anything's possible on guitar. Now, here's the trickiest part. When I said that the foundation's pretty shaky, it is. You're pretty much locked into these four chords. But what you can do, and it's gonna seem way more impressive than looking up chords, is just learn songs by ear. Pretty much any four chord song can be played with these four chords, but it's not necessarily gonna be the chords that come up in tutorials. Just figure out by ear. Does this sound right? Just a small town girl. Nope. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world That's it. We figured out the song. And you can pretty much do that with any song. The only thing that matters is that you get the tempo right and the chord changes are in the right place. I'd recommend getting a capo because it can help you play closer to the actual key for most songs. Otherwise, you can just transpose it. That means not playing the right key, but I'd recommend getting a capo. You're playing guitar. It's guitar playing. You're playing guitar in under a week. I told you so.